Hi Sagittarius, Narai here, gonna do a reading for you guys. I hope you are well. I don't want to be on camera, so I am doing my readings like this for a little bit. All right, so Sagittarius, Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus, North and South Node. Spirit, what do we have for Sagittarius? Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus, North and South Node, please and thank you. Messages and guidance for Sagittarius. My North Node. All right, let's see what we have for you. Spirit, thank you for your guidance. Please let me know what I need to. Okay. Okay. Perfect. Your reading is going to be fast. Oh my God, am I pulling the lovers? Oh, shoot. One moment. Two of Cups? Nope. Sun card. Yay. Okay, so we're going to leave it with these. So here's what I have. First card is the Page of Pentacles. Oh, let's do this. First card is the Page of Pentacles. The Page of Pentacles for me is somebody younger, somebody that may not as not be as grounded as you want them to be, but they're certainly working on their footing. Uh, it it could at times be a reliable person, maybe not all the time. It could be a younger person. Uh, it could be a person that's not really good with handling money and finances. Oh, excuse me. Next card I have is the Ace of Swords. The Ace of Swords, and I actually love this card. Um, the Ace of Swords has to do with you having an epiphany, some sort of clarity or a, real, a realization in regards to something. It has to do with the mind. So there's something you may have realized in regards to how somebody was dealing with money um, and it could be that the person and you may know who this is because it was somebody in your energy that wasn't good with dealing money for some of you it could actually be you Sagittarius realizing something in regards to a situation or a person that may have been younger or involved a, a younger person or an immature person. I feel though that this is more about you guys having a realization and having a reason to celebrate. Maybe you had support from friends, but you're healing from a heartbreak. You're healing from a heartbreak. Uh, and for some of you, it could actually be letting you know that you will be celebrating because you're healing from a heartbreak and you may not even realize that you're healing from a heartbreak until a certain burden comes into your life and then you realize how stable you are because you don't fall apart like you would have in the past is that not amazing 
There may be something you don't even see coming that's a burden and a lot of responsibility or you may feel overwhelmed, but you don't fall apart anymore. And that's a reason to celebrate in itself. And it may be because you realize you're finally happy or you're seeing things differently now and you're seeing things in a positive way and you may actually, I, I don't know, I feel like something's coming and it's going to be a bit of a burden. I don't feel like it's going to break you though. I feel like it's going to let you see how strong you are. As strong as an ox or a buffalo. Um, and it's going to let you see how stable you are. How stable you've become. Some of you are going to be surprised. And I'm a Sagittarius North Node. And I will tell you that I have had things happen to me since my heartbreak um, two years ago and I am sometimes shocked at how I'm able to handle things or the things that I don't allow to bother me anymore but you guys have grown so much and that's why but you guys are choosing to see the positive in life be optimistic expect the best learning that you deserve the best and so on. And so I'm going to leave you with that. I think that would be, I don't know. Something's telling me to pull more cards. Sorry. Somebody may be watching you. You may get a message from someone. I just did pull the, oh wow, really? Great. Yep. Somebody may be watching you. You may get a message from someone. Somebody may be thinking about how to reach out to you. Oh, where did this come out? It could be somebody that is from your past because they're reminiscing about you. They're seeing all the work that you're putting in. With the Eight of Pentacles, they're seeing all the work that you're doing. They want to take a leap of faith for some of you. Or they may realize how more daring you are now. I don't know. I'm just... Yeah, I feel like it's somebody that expected you to be a wounded warrior still, and you're not. And you know who it is because it's somebody that was testing your boundaries, constantly testing your boundaries, Sagittarius. Somebody might be realizing you were actually their wish fulfillment. Well, you know what? That's just too bad, too sad. Ooh. See? No more, no more sleepless nights. No more sleepless nights. No more nightmares for you, Sagittarius. You are doing the work. You know you're worth investing in. You know who's worth investing in now. You know that good things take time and that sometimes they are hard work. I feel like some of you may have dealt with individuals. This could be friends, this could be lovers, that as soon as things got difficult, they started acting funny instead of actually doing the work, real, not realizing sometimes relationships take a little bit of work. But I feel like you guys are closing out cycles. Um, this could have to do with some sort of travel with the world card. Things are going into completion. And you guys will have some sort of new passionate beginning. And I really, oh my God, I cannot even. I had the cards like this and I lifted it up and I don't even know why. And I looked and I just said a new passionate beginning. We're going to take this one. A new passionate beginning that could possibly be a relationship. And that will be a balancing of the scales. What were these cards? Oh my God. <laughs> this is a gift. Somebody might be trying to give you a gift. So this is, this is romance. This is a relationship. This is a relationship. Holy cow. And the funny thing is this is a relationship too. The Ace of Cups, that has to do with self-love. That's you loving yourself. Sorry, I hit the 
the, uh, the iPad, guys. Um, it's you guys loving yourself and meeting someone else that loves themselves and you guys come together and then you're the two of cups. I have the ace of pentacles. This is a gift. And it could be that somebody's realizing how much of a gift you are. And then I have the king of pentacles. You have somebody coming into your energy, Sagittarius, that is going to be sure that you know that you're loved and that you feel secure in the relationship. You feel a sense of security, you feel stability, and you know you are protected. And by protected, I don't mean somebody's going to go hurt somebody over you, although that could be the case. But I just mean whether it's man or woman, whether you're man or woman, this person is going to do whatever it takes to protect your heart and let you know that you are of value. They're going, to, they're going to make you feel that you're a value. They're not going to, excuse me, make you feel like you don't matter or you're insignificant. So I think that's a beautiful reading. I'm going to leave it there because I don't want to mess it up. But you guys are going to have a mutual attraction. There may be a lot of chemistry there. Oh my goodness. Love is in the air. Love is in the air. And you know what I love about the Two of Cups in this card? They have the same colors in them. They have the same colors. You're going to have the Two of Cups because you're finally happy. Alone. When you can be happy by yourself, you can probably be happy with somebody else. But if you're not happy by yourself, there's no way in hell you're going to be happy with somebody else. Because happiness is an inside job. So that's what I have for you, Sagittarius. I love you guys. Thank you for liking, sharing, and subscribing. Bye.